So, Melt Cosmetics did a, I don't know why I keep thinking it's a collaboration, maybe it is, but a Melt Beetlejuice collection. I have loved Beetlejuice and Tim Burton in general since I was a child. And most of my favorite movies from when I was a child were Tim Burton stuff, Beetlejuice, Edward Scissorhands, Nightmare Before Christmas. I liked Tim Burton quite a bit. I don't know why I keep straightening this placement, but now I just have to keep doing it to annoy you. Um, where was I? Melt Cosmetics, Beetlejuice. They typically seem to just do like eyeshadows, mostly. Like they don't have foundations that I'm aware of. Um, but there's a mascara in this collection that I love. And I think it's my new go-to mascara. But let me show you this massive beast. It is this. It is like bigger than me, not really, but bigger than my head for sure. No contest. So it has a drawer that opens up. And in that drawer is some little paper stuff showing, woo, Melt Cosmetics. There's a fun little sticker with Miss Argentina's legs. I know, pretty sexy. There is a Melt Cosmetics mirror with Lydia dancing on the back. I don't think I actually have a handheld mirror. So that's cool. I have a cool Bride of Frankenstein like compact, which I love. There's this makeup bag with the sandworm on it. And of course, black and white stripes on the inside because how could it not be? It's Beetlejuice. I mean, come on. The brushes have Lydia, uh, there we go, dancing up the brushes, down the brushes, whatever you want to call it. It says melt and Beetlejuice on the brushes. Also, the bristles are black and white of various, various combo. Most are half and half, but this one seems to just be kind of down the middle. I have yet to use these brushes because I wanted them being pristine and gorgeous for you in the video. Um, they feel like brushes. I hope that they're amazing and I just want to use them all the time. Because randomly just, just a random brush I get, it tends, has been my favorite in the past and I would love for just all of these to just be in my rotation. Ah, where do these fit? Life is hard. No, no. I don't know where this one fits. I, oh, it does fit right where I put it. <laughs> little mental breakdown there. It's healthy to have some of those, you know? Maybe it's not. Maybe you should just say how you feel all the time. But, ugh, back to, oh gosh, the drawer. So when you open this up, I don't know if I saw how amazing this was before I got it, but it just every time I open it, it's Amazing. I should have taken that stupid foam out to give you the full effect. There we go. So this amazing Beetlejuice um, image here. We got an eyelash curler. The red tube on top is mascara. Two eyeshadow palettes. In the middle there is three eye gel eyeliners. Uh, lipsticks are the green tubes on the bottom and there's lip stains on the top there. We will go over them in more detail when I can move this thing. It's so difficult. Oh, I was hoping I could like have that shown a bit better. Oh well. Oh well. I don't know why I'm trying. So, well, I'll just start with my favorite. The uh, mascara has Beetlejuice and the sandworm on the side that you can't really see, question mark, maybe. But I just like how it feels. It's not too clumpy. 
Like some mascaras feel stiff. Mm. Um, like waterproof mascara, I hate. Ugh, gosh. If it isn't like, <laughs> I judge mascara by if I have a panic attack and it, it streams down my face, it's garbage. You need to like hold up for my panic attacks, man, without being waterproof. Ugh, and gross and stiff and annoying but anyway wow tangent what I love about this mascara is that it seems to like close and like click so you know it's closed because I since you can't like see how much you have left I worry that I leave it open and it dries out and then I'm like wasting mascara because it like won't be quite as amazing and it's like should I just throw this out or is it still fine I don't know do you guys have these problems? Let me know. Because I care. Oh, and these are going to be difficult to get out. I got it. Don't worry. I know you're stressed out. These are the lipsticks. This is cat hair because Charlie loves sitting on the table. <sighs> Charlie's a cat, FYI. Not just like a weird person with a whole bunch of cat hair all the time. So anyway, yes, yes, let's do this. It says Beetlejuice on the bottom. Melt, because that's the brand. Uh, this one is called Miss Argentina. And it has a sandworm imprinted on the side of the lipstick, which I think is adorable. And yeah. Like, if I just saw this on the shelf in a color that I regulared, like this one, I like red lipstick, um, I'd buy it, like, that would be the selling point. Like, what? Sandworm on the side? Put that in my cart. Because I am a sucker for packaging. I think I say that in every video with, like, makeup that I do. I was like, this one has an imprint of a sandworm. Shocking, because so do all of them. This one I would also wear. Uh, but the red would be a more frequent thing for me. I like red lipstick or a dark red. Dark red. Yes, this one is not really a color I would go to. But maybe I can have fun with it. I'm thinking if I use like the black lip stain like as kind of out as oh how do I describe it as the majority of it with like green highlights that's totally not how to explain it but that's all I got maybe I can make it work to be continued I have no idea these lip stains are pretty cool like I've been talking and there's no lipstick on my teeth which I tend not to wear lipstick because I like freak out when I talk like this is on my teeth and I look stupid and I hate it. No, but you also wear masks right now. So I mean, not a big thing right now, but you also probably wouldn't wear lipstick, but they've claimed that this won't get all smudgy even if you're wearing a mask. So I like that this is like a thing now that is discussed because if it is fine under a mask, I assume it's good enough to not like get all gross I don't know how people pull off awesome lipstick all day, but like I work all day. And if I do go out, it's usually for like quite a long time. It's not like, oh, I'll go for an hour and not eat anything or drink anything. I don't know how you guys work, but anyway, yes, this like purplish black glitteriness, this reddish one, this is like a color I would normally wear. Uh, shit, did I say the colors of the lipsticks? The other ones, the greenish one, the purplish one is Calypso, and the greenish one, I think it had something to do with Beetlejuice specifically. Goes with the most. I was right on track. The blackish one is called Weirder and Weirder. I normally don't wear black lipstick just because, like, I grew up as a spooky person, and black just seems too cliche. Like, I don't know. And black lipstick was never good quality growing up. Like, it was always garbage. This is probably better quality, so maybe I will get into it more. 
I tried it <clears throat> the other day with like the purple in it too. So I'm trying to get better at lipstick, but I don't know. <laughs> it's not really the time. But also maybe it's the time, because if it is messed up, no one's gonna see it, because it's under a mask. Heck yeah, it's like superhero stuff. This one is It's Showtime. I like it. I've got that one on with this one. I don't know if I said that already. My brain is broken. This one's strange and unusual. Just like me. Probably not. I have no idea. Uh, I showed the mascara. I showed the lipstick. I show the lip stain. Is that what I called it before? Anyway, eyelash curler. <laughs> Uh, it says Beetlejuice on it. I think it says Melt Beetlejuice. Yes, it does. And I just realized that I left one of these little red things somewhere. So hopefully it doesn't get thrown away. And I can grab it tomorrow. Oopsie, 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 oopsie. And this doesn't fit very well. It does. Yeah, okay. So, what eyeshadow do I want to show you first? I'll show you. Recently deceased. I love the little metallic -y name. And the purple black stripes. Why did I say purple so weird? Don't critique me. This doesn't represent me. The inside is green of the box. <gasps> oh, that is my nails. How perfect. Oh, look, it says Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Quoted as Lee. Li Lydia Dietz. She says that in the movie. That's true. There's the sandworm that Beetlejuice kind of uh, 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 did to try and scare off dudes. I think he did a good job, right? Yeah, he did. Mm -hmm. Mirror. The little plastic protector thing that tends to be an eye shadow is a Beetlejuice kind of lithograph sort of theme. Theme. Whatever, at the cemetery, at Beelgeus's grave. We caught these awesome eyeshadows, and uh, it has Beetlejuice imprint, which is pretty rad. I don't know if you can see very well. I am wearing Paranormal and Neurotic, those two glittery ones on top. You probably can't tell. And I'm not gonna bring the camera that close to me. Let's admire at a distance. Six feet. So there's that. I didn't tell you any of the names because I forgot. But we will pretend it is to uh, keep you in suspense. Very exciting. Yes. The waiting room. I'm going to keep these walkers forever. I love Beetlejuice. Now I'm curious what this one is inside. It's just black. Is this what happens when you die? Oh, so sweet. I love the reddish of this. Ooh, girl, that came out all nice with that sun. <laughs> Calm down. Has that lovely mirror again and Miss Argentina. And I really like these colors. Has Miss Argentina's legs there. You can see my iPad in the mirror. Pretty cool. It has constellations. Because space is badass. Um, all of Beetlejuice themed names. I will pretend that I... I don't know. I'm done with that sentence. I didn't know where it was going. So, yeah. Um, I am happy with it. I normally wouldn't have spent quite so much on it. Maybe I would have. It's Beetlejuice. I'm sucker for packaging. Let's be real. I'd buy it. But, yeah. Yeah. It's beautiful. And I love it. And I'm probably going to buy my... I'm going to probably buy more of the mascara which is apparently $24 a tube, which seems to be about what 
a good quality mascara costs 20 to 24 dollars so it's on the higher end I think I don't know the Too Faced brand I usually get I think is $20 a tube but it doesn't do the click thing that I know of now I should check and see if I have a untouched tube but my, the tube I have now doesn't even close really I don't know if mascara gunk piled up or what <laughs> I don't know that is clearly the end of the video and it should have probably ended a couple minutes ago when I didn't get quite so weird